What's going on? Friday night. Special guest, Dave the Rave, back from Net for Truth USA, or Truth for uh, Net for. <laughs> I get confused all the time with your title. Dave is in the house. I'm going to kick off with a rockin' song, but so you realize where we're coming from tonight. So this is not for the light of heart, all right? This is not for no sheeple. So put your seatbelts on. It's going to be tame. It's not going to be hours of this. We're just going to touch base on, you know, what happened 21 years ago and how dumb as shit uh, some humans are. Fair enough. Now, y'all chill out for a minute, and we'll catch you on the flip side. All right? Just chill. Just relax yourselves. Go make it. It's cocktail hour. Go fill a bowl. Go make a gagadale. Do whatever you're going to do. Just chill. All right? All right. All right. Goodbye. Go brush my teeth. Roll up my smokes. How you doing, Dave? How you doing, Joe? Trying to find the spot to go. Nice, Dave. You're gonna send me an MP4. That I'd like to use that as some background on one of my videos. Hey, Joe, look what one of my friends gave me. Yeah, that you showed me before. That's nice. 
Hey, sorry guys, there's a whole conversation going on when they've been instructed that, like, I want you guys to chill. But they, for some reason, they can't. They chatter back and forth. We got Dave and another guest, so we don't know who that is. It's very exciting. Now let's just let everybody mellow, because their seatbelts are on. They know it's going to be horrific coming up. Ha ha ha. Alright, I'm ready, I'm ready to jump. I just got to do my eyes. My eyes. Very chill for a minute. Be entertained by my beautiful singing voice. I got something coming up for you cats. You'll understand exactly where we're going. this road on the show, shall we? Yes. Absolutely. Enough. 
Now, I'm going to give you an example of what's coming up tonight. So you want your seatbelts on, and if it's going to be too much for you, uh, we'll understand. You can chill. But this is what's coming up. Hey, Thursday, everybody. Yes, so the sanctuary flights continue. And they're the only flights that are on time. <laughs> Last night, Florida Governor DeSantis sent two planes full of illegal immigrants to the progressive paradise known as Martha's Vineyard, which makes no, sense. Now, I don't know what this is. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on here. Why I, mean, I have I plenty of work on a vineyard. What but is going on? Hold on. Out there, at least since Brock's what is this day. audio I'm hearing, man? Seen his face when I jumped the out of that school show. The what show? Was a little I don't know. Like that guy field on Fox. Oh, oh yes. I think that's me. Hold on. But the coverage is hysterical. Uh, hey, you guys got to silence yourselves, man. I'm opening a show here, oh, and there's a kind of a uh, you know a theme to it. That's this, that's this thing here. Hold on. Is now somehow cruel and inhumane. Yeah, what's going on, man? You're killing my whole deal. This is like a build up into what we're going to be up to here, man. So everybody just chill for a minute. God damn it. Oh yeah. Whoa. Let's go. Get your seatbelts on. Fair warning. some people in the house tonight got an army vet got a green beret you know our friend dave and we're just going to discuss a little bit i have a couple of bullet points that's about it 
they might fill us in on other stuff. And the one thing I re request I have of Dave and I think it's Bob. I'm not sure yet. Um, we're going to meet them in a minute. The only request I have is we got to be really careful because I am broadcasting on YouTube. YouTube and anywhere else, please recognize this is all public knowledge. We're not doing any conspiracy theorist shit. Yeah. No truth seeking here. We're just going to uh, point out some specific facts about what occurred 21 years ago. And then we'll get into fun stuff. You know, I'll let these cats go and we'll get into fun stuff. If I can find them. Where'd my buddy go? Where'd my buddy Dave go? I'm right here. You're right here. I don't see you. Well, you'll see me in a minute. Oh, there you are. Hey, Dave. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave in the house. And what happened to Bob? I just saw this dude, Bob. He looked like really gnarly. That was Joe. He, he, uh, oh, that's, jo that's Joe. I don't know what happened to him. He dropped off. No, he dropped off. Hey, cats and kittens, there's Dave in the house. All right. Well, I don't know what happened to Joe. Well, maybe Joe will come back. So listen, um, you have any specific points? Now, uh, why don't you give us a little bit of your background, Dave? So people understand where you're coming from. Because this is no sheep. This is a guy that's not blind. He, he uh, the, the, the eyes are useless to a mind that is blind. All right? This guy's mind is not blind. He sees right through it just like I request all of you people. Don't fucking overlook the obvious. All right? Because then you become a sheep. If it's blatant, it's right in your face, man. What's happening right now is in your face. And you're still fucking going ki kayaking. Yeah. Whatever, D. Why don't you fill us in more about you? Okay. First thing I want to clear up is I'm not a green beret. I just happen to be wearing a green beret. And okay. Fair that enough. Given to me as a gift by a friend, as uh, was this given to me as a gift by a friend. No. So they're they're, they're acknowledgments saying you deserve yeah. it. Yeah. I got uh, a black belt from Japan. I didn't make it, but my sensei said you deserve it. Well, no, it's I, I studied in the Goju Ryokai gym on Canal Street nope. for four years. New York, man. And I took Shotokan, became a black belt first degree. And my second nephew, I took when I came back from dojo with all my suits all sweated up. He wanted me to teach him. And so I taught him from when he was five, and he now teaches in Long Island. He's a black belt, third degree. Uh, cool being. I go back a ways. I go back a ways. Hey, my uh, nephew, he, I asked him once to send me the video of his last test. This guy's jumping over three peoples and busting boards, and he never sent it to me, my nephew. Yeah, my close, one of my closest yeah. blood relations. Still never sent it to me. I would be glad to show it to you guys, show you how badass my nephew is. And he's got the real black belt. This guy studied forever. Well, the first time I had to use it was, and the last time I had it, and the first and the last time I had to use it was uh, three guys uh, when I was walking down the street with my girlfriend. This was 19, oh, Jesus. 27, 28? Uh, no, was, this was 19, 67, 68. Oh. And they walked up to her and they started grabbing her and shit. And I got pissed off. I broke one guy's nose and I snapped an antenna off a car and I laid one guy's face open from his ear to his throat. Whoa. He hey, was like a pig. I was going to kill us all, bitch. Hey, listen, ladies and gentlemen, it's very important. Back in the day, cars actually had like uh, antennas. They were like this long and they were in the front of your car. Yeah. That's when we were using like typewriters. And uh, yeah, you snap and off an antenna and a 22 would fit right inside of it. You could make a zip going out of it. Yeah, I remember, remember you that? an antenna, man. You whipped the shit out of somebody, man. Yeah, no bullshit. No bullshit. And now those weapons on the streets are gone. Yeah. Then I go back a ways. I was in the service, I, w I joined the Air Force. Uh, two months after I finished basic training, my mother calls me. She says you got a draft notice from the army, and they send you a, a token for the ride the subway to go to Fort Dix to be inducted into the army. And I said I think they're a little too late. And uh, 
I got out of the ser when I was in the service. I was a cryptographic system specialist with a top secret crypto SSIR clearance, and the SSIR I guess is equivalent to a Q clearance today because I could ride a plane with the with the president. I could ride on the plane with the president. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, a Q what what clearance? SSIR. It stands for Secret Service Information Restricted. But you said a clue clearance, that something clearance. Yeah. Uh, the reason I had that clearance is because Oh, clearance. I worked, yeah, clearance. The reason I had that clearance is because we were working in a comm center and we had the itineraries of all the generals, the president and everybody come over to come over to teletype machines. They had teletype machines. Uh-huh. And uh we knew so we had a need to know because we were working on the equipment uh after i got out of vietnam i was in vietnam for a year uh i joined a medical civic action program and we were uh we were uh i guess what you'd call uh can bodyguards you make, can you make yourself big screen again bro you know what you did i did no you're it's half and half yeah. now Oh, it's half and half. You want, me to, you want me to hold on a second? Yeah, see if you can get, I want you in the room. See if you can do that without effing us up. Yeah, perfect. There you go. Okay, how's that? All right, that's good. And I think I can make okay. you full screen. Watch. Yeah, see, now he's like in the room with me. Okay, now we're good. And if Bob or Joe comes back, let him, let me know. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I can't see the, I can't see the da dashboard from, Full well, screen. That's I can't okay. see. We see you. You're right next to me. You're chilling with me, man. Anyway, uh, I joined a medical civic action program. We were escorts for the doctors that went out and treated civilians mm -hmm. in Vietnam. Then I got back from there. I went to Cannon Air Force Base for two years. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked on a 1969 Mach One Mustang that uh, that I bought from somebody who was fixing to go overseas. And I met a friend. He was he is the son of a Sioux Indian chief. In fact, I'm his blood brother. Whoa. They killed him. The drug dealers killed him. I didn't know he was doing drugs, but apparently he got into one of these little sessions. They killed him. And I worked for the New York police, New, uh, for the New Mexico State Police undercover as a narcotics informant and busted him. And they're doing, they're still in jail now. They're doing natural life. So, ladies and gentlemen, you recognize, we get, you know, Dave's a badass, okay? More badass than me, probably. But you got two badasses. We're going to discuss a little bit about 9-11. Not too much. I have two specific bullet points that all I want you to do is put in your pipe and smoke them if you have any doubts that it was an inside job. Right. Okay? And I got two other things to add. Please. I busted the... Canandaigua Veterans Administration sending a registered nurse onto prison property at Groveland Correctional Facility treating veterans for PTSD at the rate of $20,000 a head. And there was 80 vets there. They was doing that from 1988 until 2000. Uh -huh. I blew up the spot by writing an anonymous article for a uh, newsletter called Justicia which was published by the Judicial Process Commission in Rochester, New York. They called everybody. They wrote to everybody, congressmen, uh, senators, news media, the whole nine yards, that this program was bogus and this guy was not qualified to treat people for PTSD. Mm -hmm. Nobody listened except guess who Guess who took the took the torch and, and decided to carry it? Joe Take Biden. Guess. No. Bernie Sanders. Okay, that can't go. Bernie Sanders got on the horn with the Veterans Administration uh, Inspector General. And I give you the case number. You can send a FOIA request to see if I'm blowing smoke up your ass. The case number is 2001 HL 0066. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you know anybody who's going to be hanging, chilling here is legit. You can go I'm do legit. your own fact checking if you like, but nobody's going to be sitting next to me here. Unless they're legit. You know what I want to do, Dave, real quick? I want to make sure the audio is cool so that um, I know everybody's hearing every word you say. I think okay. just because if it's fucked up, then it's annoying for them, annoying for me. My heart gets broken, and it's a waste of my hot damn time. Okay? 
So let's just make sure everyone. So if anybody's in chat right now, will you just give us a number one? I just want to make sure you hear Dave really well, okay? Just tell me you can hear him. Say, give me a number one if you can hear Dave. This is number one. I just want I to am make ready sure you hear for Dave really and, well, okay? Uh, just or tell two. me you can hear we him. We all are. Say, Gino give me a number Solano, one. Hey, very crazy place, Dave. brother. But this number one. I, just I am ready for Dave truth really and well, okay? uh, okay? a cozy studio. Better than how you all are. Gino Solano, hey, very crazy place, brother. But number one. You shut your mouth. Hey, Gino Silvano is a good friend of mine. He's going to be here um, in a couple of weeks. He's going to chill here. I told you, I told stories about Gino Silvano. I did impressions of him. We're not doing that tonight. But I'm getting a number one from Rob. Rob's cool. He's in the house. Gino says number one. So as long as you hear Dave well, perfect. WW in the house, my man. So let's carry on with our brother from another mother. The Dave Monster. Once I find him, he's in here somewhere. I know he is. Okay. Yeah, he's here somewhere. I just have to find him again. What happened to you, man? Are you over here? Where'd you go? I'm here, bro. Yeah, I know you're here. I just gotta find you. Oh, you're over here. There you are. You're right here. Hey, yeah, my man. So do me a favor. Now again, Yo. we've discussed we gotta be kind of cool. I'm just gonna lay down two bullet points. I thought about it. This is going to be a whole 911 episode. But I know I really thought about it and I ain't got much to say about it. It's all it's look, I'm going to go all the way back to what I just said. Your eyes are useless if your mind is blind, okay? And this is all based on what you see. And I'm going to show you building 7 come down. And if you're telling me that's not controlled, then please um, sign off the human race and go find a short bridge and take a long fucking walk. Fair enough, fuckers. Can you give us a little insight, Dave? Forget Building 7. Forget the controlled demolition. Forget all the nonsense. Forget the unmarked planes. These were not commuter airplanes. They were not. Okay? <laughs> they were just hologram shit, in my opinion. Yep. It, it was CGI that was overlaid over a live broadcast. Yep, and I showed you. I showed these cats and kittens once before. I showed you the airplane wing disappear behind a building headed to it. I showed right. and that. I got, and I got videos of the explosions without the planes hitting the building. I got video. I got videos of these were unmarked you know, it's, planes. It's hard enough to put a plane in the picture. Mm -hmm. But you can it's not that easy to take a plane out of the picture. Okay? <laughs> so I got a I got a video of the of the explosion of the South Tower mm -hmm. without the plane. Mm -hmm. Okay? This like is what happened. Can you send that to me? I'd like to show that. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to put it in, I'm going to com compile a video of this on my end and uh I will put that clip in there i did one before a I'll couple share of years with, i'll ago. share it with you guys once i once he completes it there's there's a picture of a of the south tower explosion without the plane yeah that's of a course first. there are i'm sure there's many yeah. videos yeah the, the fbi i'm sure went all over the place confiscating cell phones because i used to where i worked on wall street 15 years and one of my accounts was the the 103rd floor of the south tower fiduciary trust and I know from whence I speak, I was there when those buildings were built under John Lindsay, the mayor of New York. Mm -hmm. Okay, And I got pissed off when they built those buildings because to clear the area to build the buildings, they had to get a lot of little small businesses to move. And 90% of those businesses was what they called Radio Row. I'm a ham radio operator, call sign Whiskey Bravo 2, A Alpha and November R Radio. Right. And and I used to get all my parts down in Canal Street. I was, used to go down there for 10 bucks and come home with more shit that I could carry. Hmm. Huh. And when they when they closed all those small businesses down, they went all over the place. Now it would cost you $20 just to ride the train, just to get to all the businesses that you would normally walk to. So that pissed me off. And we used to joke about maybe we should blow this fucking thing up and made a, make a bridge over to Jersey, you know. But... Who who knew that years later, decades later, that shit would happen? And it wouldn't be a bridge to Jersey. It would fall on its own footprint. 
exactly like a controlled demolition. Mm -hmm. If you ever mm -hmm. seen a controlled demolition, the buildings always fall down into their own footprint. Well, the bottom line is this, bro. I've shown now. I've I've covered this before, and I have shown skyscrapers blazing on fire, blazing hotels, eighty stories high, blazing on fire, no collapsing, none. None of them collapse. They burn out. Firemen yep. come. They get the cranes. They try to get the water up there. But none of them come down like that. Yep. I had it all on my website on uh, netfortruthusa.com before they took the website down. Mm -hmm. That uh, one guy called me. His name was John. This was, this was 2006. And he's talking about the planes hitting the towers. And I said, there's, there's no planes, John. I said, no plane crashed in, in Shanksville. No plane crashed into the Pentagon. And damn sure, no plane crashed into Building 7. Hey, real and no quick. Plane real, 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 let, let's, let, I'm, I want to touch base on the Pentagon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the bot. Now, this is, again, uh, just use your logical mind. The Pentagon has to be one of the most important footprints in the United States of America. You, you suppose they have a lot of cameras securing that 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 uh hot damn real estate there you suppose correct i believe there were at least 62 if not 162 cameras but that day there was a glitch and none yeah, of them just were like working. Jeff that just day. like jeff all yeah. oh, the cameras don't work that, that day that day no one not on any other day that day and there's no debris you have witness after witness saying i don't see no wings i don't see because that was a missile and there is one image of a missile going behind a reporter's back. There's no plane. <laughs> no fucking plane, fuckers. Yeah, and, and no plane in Shanksville. Shanksville was the was the true story because they didn't find anything. If a plane crashed in a in a field, you would find the black box. In fact, I was in I was in um uh, in uh, where the hell was I? I was in somewhere in the Bahamas and a plane crashed into the side of a mountain. Uh huh. There was shit everywhere. 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 Seats and luggage and papers and all types of shit. Everything. And they found the black box, but they didn't find the black box in Shanksville. Why not? Shanksville the thing's got a fucking beeper on it. It beeps when it crashes. It goes beep, beep. It has a locating signal where you could find the ship, but they didn't find it because Dave. there was no plane. Yeah, Dave. You're and what Shanks pisses me off is every president since then has gone to Shanksville and did the sign of the cross and prayed for the victims. There's no victims there. Is Shanksville There's no a code? plane wait, there? Wait, bro. Shanksville. You keep saying Shanksville. Are we talking about the P E N T G O N? No not, the, no, not the Pentagon. I'm What's talking Shanksville? about Shanksville. Well, well, I'm, I'm not familiar with Shanksville. Yeah, this plane's supposed to be supposed, supposed to have crashed in a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Uh huh. That was the third of the four planes. Oh, the one that didn't make it. Yeah, the one that didn't make it. Yeah, the missile. <laughs> yeah, the missile. But it wasn't a missile. It was it, it, what hit the Pentagon was a, was a cruise missile or some shit, because. They say, well, a plane hit the Pentagon. Okay, who is it going to offend if you show me the tape? Let's be like Warner Wolf and go back to the videotape. Yes. Let's go to the videotape. But Roll there's it. no videotape. There's no videotape because it didn't happen the way they say it happened. No, well, I got videotape right now. Good segue. Good segue. And, and, I, and, Os and Osama bin Laden over in a cave dragging oh, around a yeah, dialysis machine on, on a ham radio directing all of us and then yeah, they cast, a they, they cast the goddamn greatest fucking terrorist of the planet in history and what do they do they kill him and throw him over a boat no proof no proof of life or death none 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 because he was That's an actor. because the guy the guy was already dead and uh, was, uh, Bush, uh, what about Bush Senior was having dinner with the with the uh, with the Bin Laden family that morning. Yeah, what if what about? And the only plane that flew out of there because after that shit happened, they grounded all the planes, right? Uh -huh. They grounded all the planes, and the only plane that flew was the plane that took them back to uh, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else about Building Seven. I worked on Wall Street, and the Wall Street ticker, the, the thing that 
records all uh -huh. the trades and who made the trades uh -huh. that was formerly located at in the Citibank building on 111 Wall Street on the 11th floor. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And oh, then you the, pa the paperwork in building 7 was astronomical. No. Check this out. Nobody wanted to I was a service tech in IBM. Nobody wanted to take 111 Wall Street 11th floor because that was they up your ass. When are you going to fix this? When are you going to fix this? It was old antiquated equipment. Uh, it, they call it 3330 disk drives. The platters were about 18 inches in diameter and they had eight of them. And you put a cover on them and twist it and you could remove the disks out of the out of the drive. Mm -hmm. It was old shit. Mm -hmm. And this fucking thing that weighed about nine pounds, it was a 10 megabyte hard drive. All right. Mm -hmm. It was old mm -hmm. shit that always broke. So one day, check this shit out. One day. One of the programmers was doing some testing on the system, and he got a disk error. So we, we, he went over to the drive, removed the platters, and moved it to an, moved those platters to another drive. Mm -hmm. He did this 15 times. 15 times. He took the platters out, put, put it in the next drive. The, the platter, well, that didn't work. It took the, and he propagated this thing over 15 drives. He crashed all the heads on the 3330 disk drives on 15 drives. They had to stop production in Endicott where they were building these fucking things to send the heads in to fix these drives because that was the stock exchange ticker, uh, what do you call it, archive, mm -hmm. okay? Before I left to go work in Jersey, we moved 111 Wall Street to World Trade Center Building 7. And they upgraded up to the new equipment. World Trade Center 7 had to be destroyed because that contained this, the New York Stock Exchange ticker mm -hmm. for all the motherfuckers who shorted the stocks knowing that shit was going to blow up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Oh. Here, let me just introduce, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who have had your head in the sand... I just want, now this is building, this has nothing to do with the Twin Towers. This is blocks and blocks away where all this information was held. I want you to open your eyes and you tell, and this is apparently just a couple of fires, some debris that lit this building on fire. And this is, this is the construction that the, the technology we have today, this is the construct, it's like paper mache. So. This is where it comes down to your God-blessed eyes and your skull, all right? Pay fucking attention. And you tell me, you think this is a couple of fires that created this? New York City, 2001. No tall building had ever collapsed primarily due to is. fire. Ladies and gentlemen, herein is Building 7, okay? But that's exactly what investigators believe well, happened to the... Now, now look, look, you can see it already starting to crumble. So these are... These are, these are, what do you call them? Um, what, what do you call them? The, the, uh, you're not seeing it. This is Building 7. The windows are starting to blow out. These are your, not, not squibs. They're... Yeah, squibs. That's yeah. what they call them. Squibs. Yeah, squibs. Explosions. These are your squibs yeah. going off. Watch these windows just start to collapse. The 47-story World Trade Center Building 7 on September 11th. According to a three-year comprehensive building and fire safety investigation just completed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. All right, now, cats and kittens, I'm going to make my one bullet point right now, okay? And it's very simple for you to try to comprehend. And Dave, you're going to help me out on this. What I want you to recognize... And again, all I'm laying down here are facts, fuckers. All right? This has nothing to do with any conspiracies. I'm just laying down what was put in front of my goddamn face. I want you to recognize this. And this is important to recognize. I want you to recognize the fact that within 48, just under 72 hours, all right? They lay, They told you the whole story. Eleven terrorists, box cutters. They found the passport and the debris. They laid out the entire dope opera for you guys. 
Everything that went down, they had, they go showed you, this is within 72 fucking hours. Now, Dave, do you recall a couple of years ago, some guy in Vegas where the pyramid is started shooting up all these fucking people? Yeah, I remember that. You know, one guy, right? Not one room. How long, Dave, before they disclosed all, how long did it take them? I know the information. How long do you think it took them to pinpoint the one guy and tell you the whole story? Almost instantly. How long? That day. No, three months. Oh, you mean when they found a guy? No, no, no. The the Las Vegas shooting with the Pyramid Building, whatever the name of that place is, the Luxor, whatever. Lu yeah. They didn't disclose who the guy, for three months. Yeah, but they knew who it came from. And I got videos. I was in Vietnam, so I know what Are guns sound. Are you going sell. to 9-11? Are you going to where I'm talking about? No, I'm going... I'm going to right, the, the uh, You're going to seventy Las Vegas shooting. Yeah, it took so, them three months before they told I us have anything. A, I have an audio tape. Yeah. Of yeah. that gun being fired. Uh huh. Okay. That gun that was being fired was either a thirty or a fifty caliber belt-fed machine gun. Mm -hmm. It has a unique sound that's once you hear it, you cannot mistake it for anything else. That was a belt-fired weapon. Right. They didn't find right. any belt clippings in the in that room that they said the guy was firing from. That came from a helicopter, one of the three helicopters, I believe, that was circling around. Mm -hmm. And you could hear, you could hear the, the the eject mechanism on a belt-fed weapon has a unique sound unlike any other weapon in the world. All right, so military. I knew it from the from the get-go. Okay. So it was a belt-fed. 30 or 50 calories, you can hardly tell the difference from the, from the recording, but it has that extractor sound like cocking a weapon. If you cock, a, I can tell a nine millimeter Glock from a 1911 Colt being cocked without even looking at it. The, you can, you can hear See, it. I'm not, a, I'm a, not as advanced as Dave, but I can tell a firecracker a, a, from a gunshot. Easy. Right. But the point I wanted to make, so you're saying it was a day. No, it was three months before they disclosed everything. Less than 72 hours before they disclosed everything about 9-11. That was one of the points I wanted to make. Right, okay. So you should look into. Right. Building 7 was headquarters for a lot of three-letter agencies. Yep. Oh, and my the goodness Pentagon, gracious. They had to, dis they had to, they had to freaking vaporize that motherfucker. Right, and the Pentagon had evidence of the 1980s bank debacle. Remember when they bailed all the banks out? Yuppers. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. were, and they were investigating that shit. And that plane did a 270-degree turn and flew at ground ground level at 500 miles an hour, way above the rated... Uh, uh, these, Ladies and gentlemen, these were amateurs. These are yeah, amateurs. Yeah. This is a... This some this some guy had a hard time driving a camel, <laughs> all right. And nineteen box cutters, with, nineteen hijackers with box cutters. I tell you what, I'm seventy one years old. If you came at me with a box cutter, you might cut me a couple times, but I guarantee you, when that plane landed, there would be a proctologist with a tongue about this fucking big gonna pull that shit out of your ass because that's yeah, where and you might not have an eye. Yeah. All right. Well, look, the cats and kittens. Now, we'll get into this, which I really don't want to get into. But you have to understand, there were two passenger planes that they pointed fingers at that went into those towers. I'm, I'll am i give you, a, this is just my opinion, mind you. But now, either all those people were paid, as they did the Challenger astronauts, the actors. Maybe they were all paid. Or... They were flown into a hangar and fucking vaporized. Yeah, well, that's you're 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 damn close. Here's my theory. Mm -hmm. The remember when the Arabs and the and all of these Palestinians used to hijack LL planes and hold them for hostage. Yeah, that dope yeah. opera. Yeah, that shit don't happen anymore. Why? 
Why? Why? Why do you think that shit don't happen anymore? Well, I tell you, the what. same reason why people because, randomly go into schools and just shoot kids makes yeah. no sense. If it doesn't make sense, it's not fucking true, fuckers. So wake That's your right. fucking asses up. Now, here's here's the here's the facts. Every commercial airliner has a built-in safety switch mm -hmm. called Global mm -hmm. Hawk. Mm -hmm. Okay, if a pl if a Cessna squawks that he's off course he's going to have an f-14 right beside him to verify what the fuck is going on oh not at the pentagon and two these, these planes flew around for an hour and there was no f-15s they were off in some some simulated mission somewhere where they were feeding the air traffic controllers bogus information about where these planes were how convenient meanwhile, yeah how convenient meanwhile global hawk took when when you don't when a when a F fourteen or an F sixteen comes beside you and says land this fucking plane, you're gonna land that plane. Either one of two things is gonna happen if you don't comply. Either they'll shoot your fucking ass out of the sky, or they'll flip the switch and land it for you. They will land that plane remotely for you. And when they flip that global hawk switch, there's not not a fucking thing a pilot can do. That you can't turn the fuel off. You can't do a fucking thing. He's got the, the 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 fighter pilot has got control of that aircraft and he will land that son of a bitch by by remote control. And let me just fact, explain to you. 747 lands itself. You don't need a pilot to land the 747. It'll land itself with sure. a computer. Let's, land itself. Okay? And let's just let's just um, occupy the space between some of these people's ears so that you recognize that you understand we're on Mars flying helicopters right now. But for some reason, these these major aircraft are just flying around Manhattan, going right at the Pentagon, going to Shawshank Redemption and crashing. No, and for some reason, everything was turned off that day. Yeah. Isn't that disgusting? Does that not disgust y'all? God damn it, to fuck me to goddamn hell. Let me tell you another few facts about 9-11 that nobody knows. In the bottom of those buildings, way below ground level, was gold vaults mm -hmm. that had more gold in them than Fort Knox ever had. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, before 9-11 happened, they had a bunch of Israelis artists that had access to the outsides of the outside of the building. Hey, weren't they doing and, construction uh, for like three months before the, yeah. the, that day? Yep. They yeah, would, what they were the doing, they were putting out there. all the squibs in throughout the building. And we'll put what check this out. I'm sorry to talk There's, over you, but the one thing uh, is, ladies and gentlemen, if you want, I'm not going to show the footage of it. It's well, it's 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 easy access for you. All right, I want you to see dematerialization. Okay, that was literally liquefying these. Where did all the girders go? When it all was said and done, there were about three stories of girders. Have you ever thought about that? Where did they all go? Vaporized, yeah. man. Like an electronic I got, energy. I got video. I have video of the core columns as the building was collapsing. Uh -huh. the, the core columns in the South Tower. Mm -hmm. The building collapsed. The core columns were still standing. Mm -hmm. And then the core columns didn't topple over. They didn't fall straight down like the rest of the building did. They just dematerialized into their constituent molecules, just like Star Trek's fucking phaser. Shoot yeah, the bank. Vaporized. Bang, fucking vaporized. That's on, that's on video. You can't explain to me that that's a film glitch. The same okay. way you can't explain to me how the left wing of the plane that hit the South Tower goes behind the U.S. trust building. A quarter of a mile down the street. <laughs> and nothing bounces off the building. This is a steel frame building. The fucking steel was a quarter of an inch thick at the top of the building and an inch thick at the bottom. If you if you it's like throwing an aluminum can at a wall. It's gonna shit's gonna bounce off. This the planes went right through the buildings like a knife through butter, and the one that cat that hit the south tower. The nose came out the other side of the building intact. A fiber 
fucking yeah. nose come out of the fucking building intact through the, the facade, through the beams, through the core columns, through the facade, and through the, uh, through the beams, and through the facade of the other side. And a fiberglass cone, that's the avionics of the plane, uh -huh. comes out other side of the building intact. All Got right, so video. Now, okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I just want, now this is all public knowledge. Again, YouTube, this is all public knowledge, what we're talking about. This is all verifiable through you. You can go look at it yourself, okay? But me and this cat right here, Dave, we're crazy. We're nuts. We're seeing what we're seeing, but no, that's not real. It can't be. They couldn't have lied to us that badly. Now, why don't you get online and go get boosted up, vaxxed up, because the boogeyman coming to get you, bitches. And look, look, cats and kittens, you know it's not you, it's not you, it's not you, but there might be somebody new here that I'm trying to get through to, all right? And maybe I'll give you some fodder to share. And you just tell people, watch the first 30 minutes of this episode and see if these two cats, I'm not, we're not, we're not disclosing anything outrageous here. This is all public fucking knowledge. 21 years yeah. later, and you still got your thumbs up your fucking asses, and you're getting lined up to get whatever fucking chemicals they want to put in your system. They're turning your boys into girls and your girls into boys, and me and this cat right here are nuts, right? We're disgusted and appalled by what's going down with this plane of existence, but we're crazy. We're conspiracy theorists. I am never that title. I am a truth fucking seeker, motherfucker, so wake your asses up. Not only that, uh, Dave, I have a saying that I coined a couple of years ago. People ask me, why would they do such things? Mm -hmm. And my answer is, evil doesn't need a reason. All it requires is an opportunity. And they've had plenty of opportunities because nobody stopped them. They, told, they took the gold out of the, out of the Trade Center buildings. Mm -hmm. A company called Securicom was running the vaults. And Securicom, guess who ran Securicom? I would say that would be, I could name a bunch of them. <laughs> Jeb Bush. Oh, you're kidding me. No Shit. way. You lie. You're lying. You. Check it out. <laughs> ah, there you go, cats and kittens. I it's don't have, public I don't record. Have, I don't have to fact check Dave. You understand? Hey, I'll give you a motto. I'll give you a motto. It's not my motto. Evil will continue to persist as long as good men keep their mouths shut. Dig it if you can, fuckers. Yeah. Wake your asses up. It's easier it's easier to believe bullshit and be done with it than to expend any mental energy to seek the truth. Because a lot of people would rather memorize all the fucking scores of every goddamn football game that was ever played. Oh, my goodness. But, but things that affect them directly and their family directly, they could give a shit about. Because it's too much trouble. Hey, it's too hey, shocking. I'll give Just it like the people, don't believe, the people don't believe the frazzled drip tape. All right? I have one of my accounts. Was, when I worked on Wall Street, one of my accounts was one police plaza. I know all the cops there. Uh-huh. I know every fucking cop in that what place. Fra what, what frazzle dip case? What is that? that the what frazzle that? drip was where Huma Abedin and uh, Hillary Clinton were torturing a six-year-old girl and uh, taking off her face and putting their, her face on their face and shit and laughing and bleeding her out and drinking her blood and that type of shit. Okay, cats and kittens. Right? No, and the, the, the tape exists. i tell you why. I can tell you how you verify this. The New York police chief said if you don't arrest this bitch this was like years ago when they found the uh the the tape on anthony weiner's laptop in a folder called life insurance she said the, the the chief of police said if you don't arrest this bitch we will and they never did oh, no, no, okay no, no, no. but the tape exists because i know somebody who saw it okay no, no, and they no, told no, me, no, no, and on, I Dave, believe no, them. It says I don't want to see it because that that shit would set me off. All if right, I Dave, if somebody right, no, 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 put Dave, my no, eyes open Dave, and made me watch that shit, I would go fucking duck hunting. Oh, I I bet I bet I bet you would. Now let me just interject here, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot fact check this. I'm not disagreeing. I'm positive it happened, but I cannot verify it. So YouTube, I am not condoning this. 
I can, I, I'm not verifying it, all right? This is just somebody's opinion, and since it's their opinion, it's meaningless. Do I bout it at all? No, I don't. Do you think that's bad? That's nothing, all right? Hey, I'll, we'll just go directly right into all the, all the freaking evidence against all those fucking Epstein, you know, conspirators and the people that went and visited his island. All the, in, all the data, all the evidence they needed to round people up, big A-list elite motherfuckers. What's been done since then? Can you get, tell me one thing that's been done since they've uh, uh, accumulated all of this evidence, Dave? What has been done about it? Can you tell Nothing. me one thing? Nothing. Oh, thank you. Nothing. He can't tell me. You can't tell me. They'll tell you they have all this evidence. What did they do? The end of the dope opera. That was the segment. That was a part of the dope opera. And now we're going to give you the Ukraine, fuckers. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck that we lost, uh, we misplaced $3 trillion three days before 9-11. Fuck that. Oh, that's not even news. Thousands of people died. We, oh, well, you lost $3, three, 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 three trillion? I don't know the exact numbers. <laughs> you yeah, lost $3 trillion. Dollars. Holy fucking hell, you lost $3 trillion. Whoa. Oh, wait, wait. Stop everything. New York has just been attacked. Fuck you all to hell. Yeah. Yeah, and if you remember, going back to 9-11, if you remember that, that afternoon, the BBC had a live broadcast. Starring in the broadcast was a reporter by the name of Jane Stanley, who was in New York. Now, she couldn't have been sent here that day because as soon as those fake planes hit those buildings, all the aircraft were grounded, if you recall. Mm -hmm. So she had to be here at least the day before. And she's on camera with Building 7 over her left shoulder and the host over in, in the UK says... Yeah, I showed, you, I showed it. I showed, us, I showed the tape. <laughs> yeah, what can you tell us, Jane? And she responds, well, nothing that you don't already know. Yeah, motherfucker, because you're reading from the same script I'm reading from. Yeah, and ladies and gentlemen. If, fall if, yet. You're the, reporting that the building fell 25 minutes before it fell with yeah. the fucking right over your left shoulder on live TV. You dumb motherfucker. All right. You see, he's as upset as I am, which you all should be. Now, ladies and gentlemen, again, due to public knowledge, you can go watch this reporter saying that Building 7 just collapsed. Meanwhile, it's right behind her. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, oh, uh, a little, uh, what do you call it? There's like actually a, a, a script. What do you call it? No, it's called a little, uh, ah, I'm sorry. It's a, it's a, it's an entertainment term. You, you just, it's a little too soon. <laughs> That's not what it is. But the yeah. chick's reporting that it's down and it wasn't. It's standing right behind her. It's time dilation. I wish you could give me the, uh, the, the, the lottery numbers because either one of two things is true. Either she was here the day before, knowing that shit was going to happen, right. to report on it, uh -huh. read it from a script, or she's the daughter of the great Carmack, and can, she can tell you the answer. Oh, yeah, the teleprompter know. might have just uh, been a little, oh, I'm, so, it, so it starts you, with you, three. You pick out which one of those things is true. Either she knew that was going to happen, reading from the script, and she read from the script 25 minutes before it actually happened, or... She's fucking clairvoyant, and she should be a yep. medium somewhere, giving there you somebody go. in the palm readings or some shit. And Dave and I are crazy. We're nuts. Ah, you know what I have to? Good. You know what I got to do, bro? You know what I have to do? It's been deep. It's been dark. I got to chill these people out with some lightheartedness because I know their guts are kind of a little tight right now. So let me just give them a little, uh, a little. Uh, again, I lost the word. A little break from our diatribes. Shall I do that for them? Go ahead. Thank you very much. I need his permission, because he's my guest. But let me just chill you guys out, because I know it's, it's, it's tough right now. If you're digging this, I mean, if, you're, if you're, you're hanging with us and you're all about what's going down here, I need to give you a little break, just because that's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> There's a war on our minds and on oh, our souls. Here. Hey, bro. Oh, I, you'll be able to hear it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I I respect this guy, believe it or not. King Charles. Yeah, remember Prince Charles? He's now the king. I, you know, I guess the other kids, whatever. That's a dope opera. But you know what? I'm all for this guy. I'm going to tell you why. This was his speech today. I don't know if you saw it, but this was it. So you all just put put your, your thinking, and I want you to hear what he says. You listen, Dave. This is outrageous. My lords and members of the House of Commons. The speech of death. I am deeply grateful for the addresses of condolence by the House of Law. Oh, I fucked it up. Sorry, guys. Lords ah, and the House of now. Commons, which so touchingly encompass what our late sovereign, my beloved mother, the Queen, meant to us all. But I'd like to make one thing straight. Charlie's in fucking charge now. Oh! And shit's about to get oh, fucking shit. real. Oh. As I stand before you today, I'd like to address some of the tyrannical shit I'm going to do as king. First off, America, we're taking you back. You cunts have been free for fuck oh! long. I would not have it. Oh, Australia, shit. you're yeah. going to become a massive fuck off prison again. Fuck you, cunts. Whoa! India, you're safe. We don't really want you back anyway. <laughs> also, I'm bringing that thing back where, like, the king gets to get fuck your wife the day you get married ass. if he wants. Prison again. Fuck you, cunts. India, you're safe. We don't really want you back anyway. Also, I'm bringing that thing back where, like, the king gets to fuck your wife the day you get married if he wants to. That was a cool rule. Anyway, cunts. Adios, I'm out of here. Prince Charles, all the way. Come get my country, man. I trust you more than anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come get it. We got something for you. There's a gun behind. Blimey! There. There's a rifle behind every blade of grass and a howitzer behind every tree. Come get it. We got something for you. Hey, David Lawler, uh, Jamie Rattlehead are in the house. Just be, just be sure to put the red suits on and the fucking hats and walk in a straight line. <laughs> Get the muskets ready. Hey, I think that's Rob. Rob, that's you. Yeah, sure. Hey, Rob tuned in, everybody. I got to fix his volume. I heard a voice. I didn't know where it was coming from, man. Let me make sure you, oh, your volume's completely up. Turn your volume up. I want to make, hey, I don't know if you know, Dave. Rob's a good friend of the show. Um, he's bisexual. He's got a dog named Samson that's like 90 pounds now, which I think is 110 pounds. He just doesn't get it yet. <laughs> wait, wait till he's feeding him 10 cans of food a day. God damn it. You picked that dog up. You out your own mind. All right, very good. All right, well, well, how are we doing here? We did a good job. I think we did a good job. Let me find my friend... <laughs> That was a good speech by King Charles, right? I'm all for it. I like that guy. Him right up there with Trump. <laughs> yeah, you got to love him. I got to give you I gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta give these people more fodder. Because, you know, I'm hot. I'm still a little hot in my neck. Really, I am. I am. I'm, I can feel my neck's warm. So I need to just give you guys a little more chill time. And then we'll carry on, and maybe Rob will chime in with anything he has to include with what occurred on that infamous day. Hey everybody, today we're gonna get started with strange and incredible videos like this. Let's just get right into it. This unveiling of a hotel in Dubai by two helicopters. It's a free protein drink day. Let them go. This giant robot in Japan. Oh, it's 60 fuck. foot tall. It's a recreation of Gundam. Hey, can in you Yokohama. share your screen? Oh no, I can't right now, dude. Sorry. You're missing. A real you. life farmer looking like the coolest superhero. Look at this fucking guy. That guy's balling, man. Boss Paula. <laughs> This moonwalk in the sky. This tourist attraction in China. Oh, 
you're afraid of heights, you probably wouldn't even go up there for free. Old NASA footage restored on the right. Ah, Let me bullshit. know in the comments below I'm if you see you up. the bullshit, I'm done. What's, what's, okay, here. Let's get to the bullshit. Seriously. Okay, so I want to know, curious minds want to know, what is shoot, what is filming this? That's all oh. I want to know. What, 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 there's, another, there's another ship above it filming it? If you guys this are so dumb as shit, Brazil, we're human. I, I, this, is, this is the island you belong on, okay? There you go, end of fucking conversation, now go fuck yourself. Yeah, I know, I'm a, re I'm a really cordial host, I know I am. Now that we're back to business, you all chill. Rob, do you have anything to input oh. here? Uh, not not theoretic, just your uh, outlook on what really... That was the... Ladies and gentlemen, this is my opinion. That was the day where NWO was going to march in. No, they're not going to do it overnight. They have patience. 9-11 was a coup. Uh huh, and it started a war, didn't it? It did. Yeah. How much more money goes out your pockets? I think it was in during. It might have been a Bilderberg meeting. I can't remember what meeting it was, but some of the elites had gotten together, and they, you know, they were looking to, to into how to start this NWO, you know, ball rolling. And they had suggested that the best thing to get that to happen was a, a Pearl Harbor style attack oh i could get deep into pearl harbor but i won't because that's a whole other episode yeah. what i'm what i'm saying is they needed something along that magnitude yeah to distract, that would to, to distract you exactly everything closed that day ladies and gentlemen ever I, I guarantee you i went home there was no reason to stay to work i remember sitting in the office i'm this is i'm gonna give you everybody knows where they were that day Okay, at least in the U.S. of A. I'm driving over the hill to Beverly Hills, right? And there's no traffic. And I started thinking, is today a holiday? Is some holiday today? <laughs> I don't know. Because I normally didn't watch TV. I don't watch the news. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I get up, I get ready, I jump. So I, I get to the office, and Howard's sitting there with his little tiny black and white TV, and we're watching it. And I'm watching that second building come down. And I said, nope. I said, no. No way. I'm watching a controlled demolition. Me and Howard shooted the shit for about five minutes. Again, no reason to pick up the phone to work. Nobody going to be picking it up. And I jumped. I left. I went home. That's where I was that day. But I'm driving over the hill saying, there's no fucking traffic. This is great. Is it a holiday? No, it isn't a holiday. People were just a little more informed than I was before it all went down. <laughs> Fucked up shit. Hey, where'd my buddy Dave go? Hold on. I need Dave right back. Here. No, I need you back on the screen, man. I need you back where you belong. I need you back in the house. All right, Dave, I promised you jokes, didn't I? Oh, we're going to get light now. Look, 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 cats and kittens, you have to recognize. And Dave, you have to recognize. I could carry on with this shit for six hours. If not 12, if not 24 hours. Like, we could go straight waking your asses up on what occurred. But that's what occurred. And, and, and again, it was just another example to the elite that you're all sheep. You don't even see through the nonsense. So There's when they a tell war you to a, on our minds. Put a There's diaper a on your on fucking face. Souls. You'll do it. Yeah, stupid whatever. I have jokes for you, man. I promised you jokes. So, I wrote them down, actually. I'm trying to remember the one of them. Well, there's one. It's one of my favorites, but I think I told it to you already. You know, the pirate ship? Did I tell you that joke? It was my dad's mm. joke. So, there's, no. this, there's this pirate ship. It's sailing the seas of the 1800s, right? Yeah. And, and the first mate comes running to the captain. He says, Captain, two pirate ships headed right towards us. He says to his first mate, he says, listen, I want you to go to me cabin. I want you to get me red shirt. So the first mate runs, gets his red shirt. He puts his red shirt, and they fucking beat the hell out of these pirates. Slaughter every one of them. And a little later on, the first mate comes to the cabin. He says, Captain, you know, I'm just curious. Why did you want your red shirt? 
It says, well, so if I bled in battle, my men wouldn't be concerned and they'd carry on. And the first mate says, oh, well, that's admirable. You are the captain. So some time goes on, a couple of weeks. First mate comes running to the captain. He says, Captain, seven pirate ships headed right towards us. The captain says, Listen, I need you to go to my cabin and get me brown pants. It'll creep up on you. Um, Where's my laugh track? It's funnier with the laugh track. Brown pants, red shirt. Come on, it'll sneak up on you. Oh, he's got, he left. He left in the middle of my joke. Look, he left. Sorry. I started no, I telling a joke and he left because I started telling the joke. He's like, I know where this is no, going. I'm, I'm listening. Going. I just can't. I just, I'll have to let the dogs out. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Rob, chime in. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Who, who, who? Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Oh, I think Dave's hoo-hooing in the background. <laughs> hey, you guys having a good time? I'll say hello to you for a second. I will. Yeah, I told you, there's a guest. When there's a guest in Oh, there's a dog. I see a dog. You see the dog? Oh, I saw a dog. A big dog. I can't because you share the screen. I could see the dog. Yeah, well, sorry, dude. I'm in the middle of it. Kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of in the middle of it, you know. Uh, you know, I'm multitasking as it is. Um, hey, Tony. Oh, Tony liked my comment. David Lawler, Jamie Rattlehead. He got, I, I don't know if he just got married. I don't know. But his wife, his babe, Shima, Shiminda. She's got a real cool name. Sharon's in the house. Sharon just tuned in. Oh, you missed it all, babe. Well, actually, that's a good thing, because now it's all just fun and games, in my opinion. Because I'm done with these guys. Uh, oh, hold on. I have to try to help him out. Luke Now TV. I'm going to go back here. What was I looking for? I was just looking for something very important. It was really fucking important. I forget what it was. Oh, the midget two, porn? Two, 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 what was it? Midget porn? Yeah. No. I deleted all that, man, because they've been on my radar, man. I forget what I was going to find you guys. I was going to find you something. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Maybe it would be good if I actually look at the episode tonight. So this is what we got coming up, just so you know. Larry. Now, he hasn't gotten back to me, but next Friday night, Larry from that Larry show is going to be a paranormal event. You know, that's how we like to roll. Then I got Gino Silvano coming. But then I got Kent Harding, dog boy from Sphere of the Lycanthrop, going to hang with us, man. That'll be fun. That will be a lot of fun. What else? I'm going to talk about bastards. I'm going to talk about, uh, oh, a big scene Tuesday night. Yeah, yeah, big scene. And I think that's what I was going to do. I was going to go check out chat for a minute, if I could find it. But I think I lost chat, man. I think I x out of chat. Did I do that? Did I do that to you guys? It'd be really fucked up if I did it. Oh, let's see. Is this it? No, maybe I didn't. Chat is disabled for this live stream. Well, then that's on you, not me, man. I didn't know this. What about this? This is it over here. Now, let's see. Chat is disabled for this live stream. Uh-oh. Holy fuck, man. That's not a good thing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, maybe it is. Okay, we're fine, I think. Koshi draws. I want to hear a joke. I just told you a joke. Yeah, you're late to the party. David, ask your friend about the USS Liberty. Okay, Chuck, we will ask Dave about the USS Liberty. Don't end up on the Clinton hit list, David. Already on it, WW33 in the house, Wayne White. Already on it. I'm already on that list. That's why I'm secluded. That's why I live in a tiny house, and you can't even find me. I showed you pictures of the whole place. Can you find me? No, you can't. They can. Hey, there you go. Who goes there? Nobody. I know it's an old joke, man, but it's just, it's just going to keep going. Never underestimate what people will do to hold on to power. Look what I do. I do this every week for nothing. But it's my power. I'm so powerful. All right, very good. So, I, I hope you cats have been having a good time. Gordzilla. Hey, where you been, man? What's been going on with you? 
Seriously, mate. You don't think I remember you, Caps? When I see you, I'm like, hey, jet fuel doesn't melt laminated paper. No, it doesn't, Chuck. It doesn't. Belt fed. I agree 100%. Not sure what it means, but whatever. Godzilla is laughing out loud, which really bothers the shit out of me. Because I start to wonder, you're laughing at me because you think I'm some kind of fucking clown or something? Is that why you're laughing? I, can't, I, don't, I don't really remember anything very entertaining that we spoke about in the past 45 minutes to an hour. But it's funny to you. What am I, a clown? No, fuck off. Do I amuse you? Do I amuse you? <laughs> hey, at the end of the night, we'll do the Mandar thing, if you're still with us. Oh, my God. If you're having a good time, please give me a number one. And could you leave a comment? Could you maybe hit a thumbs up if there's one available? You lazy sacks of shit. God damn it. Cushy yeah, really? Me, he retracted a message because he was being filthy and disgusting. <laughs> Wayne White sent us William Shatner's pants. I don't know why. Oh, that's a good segue. Remember how I showed you a douchebag picture of William Shatner? A long time ago, I said this guy's a douchebag. When he was on uh, Match Game, I got it. I met. I caught another one of them. And again, I met the guy. He is a douchebag. Oh, I do. You ever hear the story about James and uh, his? Yeah. Uh, his college in here. Here's another douchebag picture of him. Again, everybody else is goofing around, holding up signs. Hi, mom. Hi, Indiana. And laughing and goofing. And here's William Shatner. <laughs> here's him on another episode. Hi, I'm douchebag. <laughs> this is what he would do. He would never be goofy. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> what a dick. What a douchebag dick. What a freaking moron. Killed his wife, no less. Drowned that bitch. Now, I, I there's two signs to every coin, so I don't know what she did. Gino's laughing his ass off right now. <laughs> Gino going to be here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and before he's here, you'll know who he is. He was in... Uh, he was in freaking, um, what's the movie with Schwarzenegger and Jamie Lee Curtis? The Two Lies. Lies. Two Lies. Yeah, he's a terrorist. In the, oh, he gets terrorist parts all the time because he looks like a terrorist. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> he's a real good guy. <laughs> but I give you, I'm, I'll do his impression for you once he's going to be on the show because I'll give you an idea who this guy is. Yeah, you want us in one impression of Gino Silvano? Why not? I'm going to give you an impression of Gino Silvano. Especially if he's, because he's going to really laugh now. So, this is you having a conversation. So, you're having a conversation with Gino, right? Now, he doesn't do this all the time, but once in a while, he would do this. And I would, I would hang up and laugh my ass off. Because you're in the middle of a conversation, you're talking, and all of a sudden, he would go, Yes, and let me tell you, man, we gotta, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. You're going to be part of it. We're going to do it. And ciao. And hangs up on you. <laughs> There's no segue into leaving. He would just be, and now the chow, and click, hangs up on you. And he'd be like, hey, Gino, and he's gone. <laughs> and he's, this is here, I'll give you another example. David, I tell you right now, everything is great. I got this woman. Oh, you don't understand. This woman, beautiful, you don't know, you know, eyes would never lay hands on this woman because you wouldn't believe how beautiful this woman is. I'm kind of making it up as I go along, guys, but this is like something he would do. And you know, I gotta tell you, David, this one, oh, what she do to me? Okay, listen, ciao. Click. And he's gone. <laughs> and I shall do this. You need to practice more. I need to practice nothing. Wait till they hear you and they find out you're lying sack. They're gonna hear you, they're gonna see you. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a scene, man. And then I will, I will do you. We will have a Gino. Uh, we'll have a Gino interview with Gino Silvano. Gino Silvano will interview Gino Silvano. How's it that? Now, that's an episode you want to put on your calendar. We're looking two, three weeks here. Because I got a Kent Harding. He's coming up. Ooh, this guy banged babes, and now he's got two daughters. He's a banging fool. <laughs> Whatever. All right. <laughs> All right, Wayne White's got a rocket. He's going to get some In-N-Out burger. I don't know what's going on here. I have no clue. But we still have a guest in the house that I kind of... 
Hey, I had to give them some light shit, bro. Because, you know, they, they, get, they get bored quick. <laughs> so I think it was Wayne White. Was it Wayne White or Taco Fillings that wrote the other day? I'm bored. I'm out. And Those I taco fillings. I try to explain. Look, I can't keep you. I can't keep you entertained for two plus hours. I just can't. But if you're gonna write something like that, tell me the segment that was boring. So if I know that you were bored by it, I'll never use it again because I want to satisfy every billion clients that have had a burger from my burger joint. Fair enough, D. Dave, back in the house. Hey. Hey, yo, how you doing? You have a good I had to let the dogs out. Who let the dogs out? Well, we're about to let the dogs out some more if you want to. <laughs> oh, my man. Well, you know what? 9-11 kicked off an 18-year war in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And my good friend, the late Arthur Bernklau of Veterans for Constitutional Law, I was the assistant executive director of veterans for constitutional law for five years and he went down to washington dc and he did his homework at his own expense you remember gulf war disease uh-huh so it's all in your head go see a psychiatrist there's something wrong with your brain are you familiar at all with morgellons disease yeah yeah okay but Gulf War disease was, they tried to put it off as some kind of offshoot of PTSD or some oh, shit oh, like that. Agent Orange, whatever. My yeah, cousin no. Dennis died yeah, from Agent Orange. Agent Orange, they knew that. But getting back to this, he did his homework and he found out what Gulf War illness really was. Okay. It was depleted uranium poisoning. So they sent a bunch of guys over there to Afghanistan using depleted uranium jacketed ammunition, which would go right through a tank, okay? And in the use of that ammunition, it would make dust, radioactive dust. Uh -huh. And when the bullet hit the tank, it would make radioactive fragments. Uh -huh. They turned Afghanistan, the most part of Afghanistan, into a, a radioactive no man's land. There won't be nobody living there for thousands of years. No, Arthur no, Bernklau no. covered the fact that the, the VA hired 800 lawyers to figure out a way how to de how to deny veterans their benefits when they came home with depleted uranium poisoning. And he used to he had two German short head pointers that used to take dumps in his backyard. And he had the pooper scooper went and picked the dumps up and put them in a box. And every Friday, he'd go down to UPS with the dog shit in a box and poke his business card in it, seal it up, and send it to Arl Inspector. <laughs> he did this every, every week for almost three years. He was trying to get arrested for sending Arl Inspector dog shit in the mail. Mm -hmm. But they wouldn't arrest him because that was a trap. Because once they arrested him and put him on the stand, then he gets discovery. And his lawyer would ask right. him, Mr. Bernklau, right. why did you send all inspector dog shit for three years in the mail every week? And he would respond by wheeling in a cart with boxes of information showing that the VA hired 800 lawyers to deny veterans their benefits and the cover of, of <laughs> depleted uranium poisoning. <laughs> About 10 years ago, he went into a VA hospital to tighten a screw in his hip joint and never made it out alive. Okay, so that's the that's the the situation that all of us people who know the truth are in, myself included. And that's why I don't tell anybody everything I know, because if they knew they'd be in the same fucking boat I'm in. Well, look, let me explain to you where I come from on that, man. Because I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, this is if you wake up, there's no turning back. I don't recommend my little party I throw here to anyone if you're asleep. You're better off ignorant. You really are, okay? 
Because once you fucking wake up to the fucking lies, as soon as you realize you're not spinning on a ball of water, you got a problem. Because you're going to see through everything. And once you through, see through everything, oh my goodness gracious, it's a tough life. No fun. None whatsoever. You read between their lines. They say one thing, they mean something else, fuckers. They'll always tell you the goddamn truth. Always. Yep. This guy, Art Bernklau, was a 13-year Marine sniper. He went in with the advisors and came out with the helicopters off the roof of the U.S. Embassy building in Saigon when Saigon got overrun. He has 200 confirmed kills, all headshots. He says, I don't believe in center mass hold. I used to go shooting with him at the pistol range, at the rifle range out in Long, out in Long Island. And I went to his house one day and knocked on the door. His wife answers. She says, Art's in the living room. So I walk into the living room, and here's Art sitting on a couch. And on the coffee table, he's got a box of ammunition and a can of Nox on, and he's polishing his bullets. And I'm looking at him, and I says, what the fuck are you doing? And he looks up at me, he says, I'm polishing my bullets. The hell does it look like I'm doing? I said, why? <laughs> he says, it cuts down on the spin drift. I said, you got to be shitting me. I ain't shitting you. And it's true. I got I mean, to deal with the Coriolis effect as well. Yeah, I mean, a sniper shooting from a mile away has to take in a whole bunch of variables. Like the wind, like the the, the the drop of the bullet, the humidity in yeah, the no, air, the you, air temperature, the air density, the whole all that shit's got to be calculated because it takes six seconds for the bullet to get there. Sure, I want so I want the audience. The fucker, if he's moving, he's actually walking into the bullet. I want my friends to understand something about the Coriolis effect. Are they going to tell you that's because of the spinning ball? No, it's the drift of the bullet. Got nothing to do with spinning, ladies and gentlemen. Jump up and down. Get on a trampoline and jump up and down. Uh, I have to disagree. The, the, the Coriolis effect is a separate issue. What causes the bullet to drift, if it's spinning, it actually cuts into the air. Right. And then it makes it climb or it makes it drop, depending on which way the bullet's spinning. He wants his going as straight as possible. Right. Well, your bullet don't go straight. I need you to, I need you to answer this question. And try to sum it up in 60 seconds or less. But why I want you, because she was there, ladies and gentlemen. What is your take? I mean, I, I can't even, I'm no uh, scholar on Vietnam. But what's your take on what that war was for? That war was primarily for drugs. And the fact that... When you make orphans, you also make money. And these people... Always follow the money, fuckers. Follow the money. And I tell you what, if you want to read something on Vietnam, I'm going to show it. So you can put my thing on the screen here. Hold on a second. I wrote a book. What the hell is it? You wrote a book, you can't find it. I wrote a book. Well, I just don't have a copy of it here because people are ordering the goddamn thing left and right. Well, just... somebody's got to order a copy of Dare Hunter. It's a really scary book. I wrote a book. It's right here. Go get it at darehunter.com, bitches. Yeah, I hear you. I'm I'm looking for her. I've got so many boxes here yeah, from Amazon. Hurry, hurry up. It don't matter. Okay, here it's it is. I got chilling. it. Rob's here. Rob, you care? You care less? You don't care less. Gino don't care. Gino sit. I know where Gino, I don't Gino's care. lying back in bed right now. This is my book. All right. What's Land, the, title of the, book? the title of the book is Land of Childhood's Fears. Land of Childhood's Fears, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Hey, you have to send me a copy autographed. Hey, everybody, it's Clementine. Quick, no, just come say quick hello. Hello, everybody, it's me, Clementine. I got to get in the house because I couldn't find no mice. All right, goodbye. Thank you very much for making an appearance, you dirty stay-out cat. <laughs> I got so many damn boxes in this place. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, you can get an autographed copy on eBay, or you can just send me an email, 
and I'll send you instructions how to get it. I want an autograph copy. And then I'll then I'll be then I'll know more about it. I'll talk to you about it. It talks about what everything about, about what, Vietnam. What talks about, about the what about the orphan the, trains? No, we're not gonna get into well, that yet. They 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 had a thing in Vietnam called Operation Baby Lift. They had a bunch of orphanages that they were sending the medcaps to, and they were run by the Catholic Church primarily. And a lot of those kids came over here under the under the pretense of being adopted. But I got another story to tell you. Is it something that we can disclose here without YouTube saying, fuck you, we're terminating your channel? I think you've said enough of that already. Well, let's let's put let's it this way. Rope. A lot of those kids didn't end up where they said they ended up. Just leave it at that. Did they end up right. in shot glasses and shit and wine glasses? I don't know what the hell they ended up in, but I'll All tell you right. what. Okay, I alluded there's, to some things. There's a, there's a big market, and it's bigger than the drug trade. It's billions and billions and billions of dollars that they don't want to lose. Not their kids. Nobody knows these kids ex exist. And therefore, they are preyed upon. Mm -hmm. To put it my way. Okay. Is it organs? They, Project Veritas caught Planned Parenthood selling not only baby parts from, from aborted fetuses, but babies' heads. Babies' heads fucking heads you got that mm -hmm. it's not some conspiracy theory this is on video of them trying to sell the shit who sells babies heads hmm. i don't know what hmm. kind of people these fucking people are but you know i got problems hey, I'm, me, an, I'm gonna tell you dave right I'm now the one today. percentile the one percentile the elite have access you don't let me tell you something a lot of people are like me. I'm an empath. I can feel somebody's pain. Okay. I can't watch I can't watch a video or a movie where a kid gets hurt or dies without something very turmoilly turn if you want it, I tell you what. You got a move you got Amazon Prime or you got a movie, you know, thing to look at. Go look at a movie titled The Boy in the Striped pajamas. Boy in a striped pajamas. Oh, I know that movie. This is that. Yeah, okay. Get past the English accents of German soldiers. Get past that. Yeah. And watch that movie from beginning to end. Don't skip around. Just watch it from beginning to end. And if at the end of that movie, you don't know what to fucking do with your feelings, there is something fucking wrong with you. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, look, cats and kids. Right there. You, sir, have you seen the movie? Yeah, I know the movie. The, the, yeah, okay. I know am the movie I, am well. I talking out of my ass? Am I blowing no, smoke? No, no, no. Okay, cats and kittens. This is not a this is not a referral to this movie. But if you want to, your 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 fucking gut up in your throat, this shit goes down. And when he's talking about being an empath, I'm empathetic. Why do you think I do this? I put my life on the line. I hurt more for you fuckers than anybody. So does he. What do we do this for? Why do we want to speak the truth? What do we do? All the way back to the beginning. A goddamn, hot damn evil shall continue to destroy the lives of your children and your children's children if good men keep their goddamn mouths shut. Dig it if you fucking can. God damn it all. There's only, there's only one way to pass too. Today. So I, I definitely I feel where you're years. coming from. Say that again, Rob. I'm an empath too, so I definitely feel where you're coming from. No, yeah, we understand. Empaths are empaths, are you, and that means that I see somebody else getting, uh, you know, a bully taking advantage of some little fucking guy. Forget if it's a woman. My life is on the line. I step in. I ain't gonna see nobody get hurt on my watch, ever. I just told Dave a whole story about this in Manhattan. I ain't gonna tell it again. How's that? My story. But I see, see this beating on a woman. Oh, you're gonna get a beat down from me. I this is why. Or not. I this is why they have 
a whole divide and conquer thing. Oh, it's all yeah, 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 yeah. Your back, divide and conquer. Yeah, you want it's something? All, I'm gonna show you something. Later. Here's 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 the thing with that, David. Hmm. It's all to keep us pissed off because yep. they feed Yuppers. off oh, that I agree. energy. I, I we are a fucking buffet for them. I concur 100%. I'm not on the menu. <laughs> well, you're on my Hopefully menu. Then. I think it would be delicious with a little Chianti and some fava Other beans. <laughs> yeah. You know, that was improv. Did you know, did you know in the film The Godfather, a good movie, but uh, it was not the greatest thing to me in the world, but it was The Godfather. You know when The Godfather's petting the cat? That whole scene. Mm -hmm. You know the cat just showed up on the set and wasn't part of yeah. the scene? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen The Godfather, it's a very good movie. It's a gangster drama about the mafia, okay? But there's a scene in it where the uh, not where Marlon Brando is sitting in his throne, and he's petting his cat and giving this whole scene. That cat wasn't part of the scene. They were just sitting there waiting. The cat came on set, jumped on his lap, and they went with it. Brilliant! That's how movies are made, man. All right, hold on. I wanted to show you guys something, man. I want to show you something really fucked up. Oh, but I got to be careful with what I show. Um, I think we're going to have to wait on this. Because this is this is coming from the CDC, mind you. Oh, you know why I can't find it? Because I just got it. And it's over here. Climate, JoJo, JoJo 1, Extreme. What is this? Extreme Claim. Okay. Is this it? Okay, now, this is an Extreme Claim, ladies and gentlemen. But this is fact check. Okay? Fact check. Done. Now, what I want you to do is pay attention to this. Because this just came out. I'm not even going to use this word here. C the C, B, B, C, A, B, C, D, F, G says 44% of people hospitalized with Dos Equis had third dose of Vaxivax Vax. Almost half the people who were hospitalized with Dos Equis last spring had been fully faxed up and received a third dose or booster shot that ended up in a goddamn fucking hospital. Okay? You want to wake your asses up now or no? Yeah, now you're all like boo-hoo, wow-wow. A lot of us told you the people had never got a vax unless they were forced to as a child. I never got no flu vaxy vax vax. Fuck you. I'll deal with the flu. I know how to deal with it. I get in bed, I eat some fucking uh, uh, hot and spicy freaking Chinese soup with a dash of mustard in it. I sweat my ass off. I get through it. All right? I'm not hospitalized. My dad used to say sometimes, oh, why don't you go see a doctor? I'm like, fine, I don't need no fucking doctor. Hey, notice something else, Dave? The last two years, nobody got the flu. I've talked about it over and over again, Dave. It's been three years. Now. Got the flu. I've been three years. I haven't had a cold. Oh, I haven't, I had, haven't had a cold or a flu since I got back from Nam in 72. Yeah, this guy's perfectly healthy. This cat. Oh, I've had the flu. I, I haven't had all. I haven't had the flu since 1995. Well, you were very fortunate humans. I've had it. I had something just before it all went down. I had something. I talked to you. Every ailment I've had, I talked to you cats and kittens about. Every ailment since I started doing this freaking party. I've talked to all of you about it. I haven't had nothing. Oh, the usual, you know, old man shit. I wake up a little. Clementine, what are you doing? Don't be bringing me no presents. Seriously, don't. So now, wait a second. There was a part two to that because I wanted to see what they wrote. Uno momento, por favor. My dog likes to bring me rocks. Oh, Clementine just brought me something she's never brought me. Oh, they like rocks. Dogs like rocks. Samson. Hey, you guys want to see Samson? Yeah. You want to see his dog? I'll show you his dog. I got him right here somewhere. Here's Samson. You want to see what he's looking like now? 
This dog will be 10 120 more. pounds. This dog Bernie's be Mountain Dog. This dog's going to be 120 freaking pounds. This bone right here is six feet long. So now you get a good perspective of what's... Look at the mitts on this fucker. You don't think he's got his hand full? Oh, my God. Oh, I pity you. I do. Oh, I know you love him. Yeah. But, boy, you're going to be in for some hell with that. Yeah, he's 10 months old. Bernie, Bernie's Mountain Dog. Not even, not even 12 months yet. Oh, my God. Oh, you are so screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, man. I just want to get to part two of what I was showing you. I really do. It wasn't even planned. But this is the way it's working out, Dave. Hey, Dave, you, did you have a good time? Yeah, definitely. All right, good. That's all that matters to me. Okay, five sellouts. Yeah, that's next week, Queen's Day. I don't even know what that's about. We'll get to all of it. I just want part two to what I was just showing you. Ah, fucking hell, mates. Maybe I didn't... Oh, you know why? Because I'm a dick. Extreme. I need the other extreme. I got two extremes here somewhere. Extreme. That was extreme claim. Ah, maybe I... Oh, extreme two. Here we go. Oh, this is just a little follow-up to what I was just talking to you about. Okay? And again, this is fact check. This is on the C... A, B, C, D, D, C, C, D, C. Okay? Among hospitalized non-pregnant patients, okay, I'm okay with that, 39.1% had received the primary series and one booster, which includes three jabs in the hospital. All right? In the hospital. Me, Dave, Rob, Ringu, I'm, I'm healthy as an ox. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, look, guys, I gotta tell you, I really, I hope we got, we went under the radar, and we're all pretty cool, because, you know, I gotta be real careful here on the whole YouTube deal, because that's all I really got. Facebook is there. Sharon hung out. Jamie Rattlehead. I'm going to talk about you and your wife. I'm going to show a picture of your wife. You know, she married. he, he married that chick. I'm going to let her know. Shamina. She's got like an exotic name. Sexy fine. But I know why he married her. And I'm going to fill her in on it. That's Tuesday night. Tuesday night, you don't want to miss either. Oh, there's a lot to talk about. Some of you might have figured it out already. <laughs> might have, but you probably didn't. Hey, Dave, any parting words from you? You punk ass? Veteran? Well, we went off on a tangent. We started off on 9-11. But another little factoid that maybe somebody didn't think about. Let's think about it. You, you remember those people that jumped out of the building? Uh-huh. About a dozen people jumped out of the building? Oh, yeah. Isn't, what's the, there's a very special picture. The L-Man, you know, the guy that's shaped like an L or something, or like a... Yeah. You know, the guy diving. There's a, there's a reason why somebody would jump out of a building okay. that is not really on fire. There's a lot of smoke, but it, it, it wasn't that hot because the smoke was black, mm -hmm. meaning there was our oxygen star fire. Jet fuel is kerosene. It's the same shit you light your barbecue with. So when was the last time your barbecue melted when it looked yeah, charcoal? Yeah, won't, me won't melt girders. Well, Mel Gerders. So what happened was you will see photos. If you look at the videos, you will see photos of molten steel dripping out of the building. Mm -hmm. Okay. The reason that people jumped out of the building is because the thermite, the, the military grade thermite, yeah, thermite, thermite, ladies and gentlemen, thermite, thermite. That, that vaporized the fucker. The shit that melts railroad tracks or they weld railroad tracks together. Uh -huh. When they cut those beams in the core of the building, the molten steel was rolling across the floor, melting everything in its path from the center of the building out. So now you have a choice. You're sitting there in an office building and you're watching molten steel heading towards you, Love. melting the filing cabinets, the desks, all the equipment is just fucking melting because this shit is molten steel. So now you have a choice. 
You can't stand on top of a desk because it'll melt the desk and you next. So now you have a choice. You either burn from the feet up or jump out the window. Nobody will tell you. You fall to your death or be cooked. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, again, I am not uh, I am not endorsing what he just said because I don't know YouTube. I am not. I'm I'm listening to him, his opinions. Yeah, I'm going to give an example of this just so you know. When it like comes to somebody like my brother, my family, they'll tell you straight up, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. That's the that's why the future of this plane of existence is fucked. But the bottom line is this. If somebody would tell me any if somebody would tell me, okay, hey, let me tell you something, David. The sky isn't really blue. First off, I wouldn't automatically dismiss the motherfucker. I just wouldn't. I'm the kind of person that says, okay, can you explain to me what you're talking about? Now, if you end up being a Looney Tune, so be it. But you don't deny anybody who makes a statement. At least hear them out. All right? That's the benefit they get. It's like, oh, you people think I'm nuts. Like You've been abducted by aliens. Well, fuck you if you don't believe it. You live it. You want to know what it's like to be feel, feel like a fucking rape victim? I know what it's like. <laughs> when you when people just look at you cross-eyed, when you live through the shit. I feel bad for all those fuckers. Go look up the movie of uh, Fire in the Sky. Go look up the story about those guys. What went down? The lie detector test, so forth and so on. And what did they get out of it? Nothing. So the next time somebody says something that you think is completely outrageous, do not dismiss them, all right? At least hear right. them out. And I'll tell you something else. Yeah. The American people have not elected a president no. since John F. Kennedy, with the exception of Donald Trump. Exactly. Everybody else, everybody else, my, everybody else, everybody else came from skull and bones. They were placed there. Your next were, president is already there. elected. Donald Trump is coming back. It's already it's a TV show. He's coming back. He's coming back. I know he is. That's I can read the script. I can read between the lines what they're doing. You think this guy JoJo is real? This guy toted the most popular president in presidential history. You think that's real? No, that's not real because he can't even fill it. He can't even fill a, a high school auditorium. He's got that's people sitting in 12 foot circles. But that's how he that's how they promoted him. The most popular president in presidential history. That's how they promoted him. I read that and that's what I want to ask my brother, because I told that to my brother. He said, Well, I don't know about that. And I want to ask my brother, what, what do you think, Larry? Do you think I actually write uh, articles and fucking make headlines to show my audience? Or I find it. It's that's there. what makes it, that's make, what makes most of you dumb as dog shit. But and Jeffrey anything Epstein, they tell you. And what Jeffrey you Epstein believe? didn't kill himself. Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. He had dirt on everybody. He was like J. Edgar Hoover. They got all the dirt, and what they're gonna do with it? What are they doing with it? You think you think they're all compromised? Do you believe that Weinstein cat is in prison for 22 years? You think he's actually serving time? No, he's not. You think O.J. Simpson spent the day in jail? No, he did not. It never happens. They don't and bury their and, own. They'll tell you the what story. What happened to the guy? What happened to the guy that went and shot up Comet Ping Pong? Remember that? Yeah, what he shot a ping pong. He, he he fired off his weapon, which was an AR AR style rifle, and guess what? It hit. It hit the hard drive of a server that was in a closet. Yeah. How does that happen? What a what a crock of shit! And people believe it because it's on the news. And Brian Stelter or the other stupid jabeep. Whatever, whatever. They're puppets. They're all puppets. They're puppets. Every, every, now they're all gone. Brian Stelter's working for somebody else. He's working for some ice cream company or some shit. I don't know. Good, good segue yeah. if I can find it real quick. I'm going to show yeah. you all what the media is all about. If I can find it quick. It should be kind of right here. Because it's just going to give you an idea of these newscasters and these uh, hot damn journalists. They, they read a script, fuckers. You don't. They're all them. reading a script. They're, it's, it's verbatim, right from this. 
Uh, I've got a video with like 40 of these people saying the same shit. It's a it's a, a threat to our democracy. It's a threat to our democracy. Yeah, That's it, what I'm it, talking it, about. You know what I'm their talking democ- about. You got to understand what their democracy means to our democracy. When they say our democracy, they're not talking about our republic. No. They're talking about their control over you. That's their democracy. Uh huh. Uh huh. I agree. Two wolves, and lamb, two wolves and a lamb sitting down together to figure out what the hell they're going to eat for dinner. That's their democracy. All right. I think it's here. I think it's here. I'm not positive. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. I got to find it again. Ah, I don't have it. Well, I put bottom this line here. is cats and kittens. Yeah, it's what he's talking about. It, it crossed the board. All across this U- U.S. of A., they all say the same. Every, you have to understand how many subdivisions of news there are. Local news, mainstream news, all of it. They all say the exact same thing that they get a paycheck to do. All right? To, because you got so many people in front of the dumb box that think that's the truth. If they tell you eggs are bad for you, start buying eggs. Anything they tell you is bad for you is good for you. Anything they tell you is good for you is bad for you. Don't bout me on it. Oh, vitamins right. are good for you. I don't think so. Look uh, at me. I, hey, you touch on something else. Remind me of something else. Oh, my God. Remember, oh my God. When, remember when this pandemic, pandemic shit started? Yeah, well, oh, yeah I remember. Obama, Obama got on the thing and he said, and he said, now is a good time to quit smoking. <laughs> because of a flu, right? It turns out that nicotine nicotine blocks the receptors from this COVID jab that they're giving people. Oh, I'm glad I'm such a smoker and I'm all jabbed up. I'm glad I'm smoking like a freaking fiend. You so, know what I haven't done tonight, which I normally do, because this was a serious okay. event. What's that? Took, took a hit. Oh, Rob's doing it for me. Rob's taking. Oh, you taking no, a hit? No, you're smoking a cigarette. No, I do have a cigar waiting for me though. I don't want to hear about your boyfriend's dick, dude. Seriously. I you wish. Can't, you can't set me up like that. Anyway, we just can go on and on, cats and kittens. It really can, because this is a friend of mine, and you can see Dave. They're a cool cat. Yeah, one cool cat been around, handled his business, and now he's he's just as he's ju- uh, just as big of a target as I am. He has his own show, Net. No, it's Net Four, the number four Truth USA. Dot net, right? No, no, it's just Net Four Truth USA or Inglorious Patriots. You can find me on Big Patriots. You stepping on your dog? Yeah. What the hell is that? Uh, that's a cat coming after your dog. I don't know what was going on. Three stories. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. My dog found his squeaky ball. What is that? Oh, that's your dog playing with it's, the ball. Oh, no, that's your yeah, dog. Yeah, I got Samson. it. My dog. Yeah. Yes. Hold on. Hold well, on. Let me, I gotta take it away from him because it's very annoying. Uh, Samson, go get him. It's in his pocket. There was a guy in Australia that was walking his dog. I started doing this, and the dog started freaking out. <laughs> you remember that guy? I don't know what happened. Yeah. Down okay, under. I traded toys with him. So. Oh, did you? Oh. Now we yeah. understand. Yeah. I am with a non squeaky bowl now. All right, listen, Dave, thanks for yeah. chilling with me, man. You have any Not parting words for anybody who has any care of what you have to say? Other than well, me. Just, just realize this if it wasn't for people like us, some of these libtards would get the government they deserve. And the irony of it is, they wouldn't even know the difference. Kind of leads me into something. You know what went down in Sri Lanka, right? 
Yeah, a lot of stuff went down in Sri Lanka. They took you it know? over. My yeah. only concern is do the people know what to do with it? Well, at least it's out of the hands of those yeah, but people. Do the that people we, know oh. how to do it? I've, I've, looked, I've looked into it more. I'm not finding anything on it. But these people in Sri Lanka took over their government, took the building over. The fucking guy who ran it left. He left the country. But do they know how to deal with it? That's why in 2024, ladies and gentlemen, David Stay, Vice President Dave, for president. Absolutely. We'll turn it around in, in 72 hours. There'll be pay-per-view, and we're just going to start getting them up against the wall day one. How's that? Yeah, hey, like you're that, lucky I'm like not that president because this shit would have been fixed. It, the first week, it would have been fixed. Amen. The first thing I would do is I would declare all these abortionists, non-uniformed enemy combatants. I'd snatch them all up. I'd tie them together with a hemp rope, and I'd feed them into a tree chipper. And give, them a little, give, give them a little taste of what they put the, all the thousands and thousands and thousands and millions of little kids who didn't have a chance at life and put and give, just give them a little taste of what they went through. Yeah, that's I'm, the first I'm thing I would do. I'm good with that. I'm good with it. I'm all right by that. And how you then how get, you how you could be the, a human being and do something like that and then go home to your wife and your kids? No, 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 no. They're not human they're beings. They're demonic. Beyond. They're beyond humans. They're demons. They don't get. They have no compass. They have no moral compass. They don't understand. That's what bullies are. Bullies have no moral goddamn compass, man. They think they have power. Wait, God be willing. It, 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 it F's them in the ass in the end. Yeah, well, it's you no, know, it's, they've been doing this shit since Abram walked out of over to Chaldees. This is nothing new. It took on a whole new, uh, a whole new meaning and a whole new thing with the, with the, all of this uh, experiments they're doing with baby parts and all this type of stuff. I mean, you have to be, some special kind of evil hmm. to do the shit they're doing. And they got <laughs> caught on it. They admitted it on tape. They got caught trying to sell fucking baby heads. Get you, you understand? Babies' heads being sold on tape, covertly put on tape by Project Veritas. Not and they sued bad. this guy, they sued this guy from Project Veritas about a dozen times, and he won every one of them. Hey, you cats and kittens, look it up yourself. Project Veritas. You look it up yourself. Fact check, Dave. Okay? Um, I, do I doubt him? No. You don't think that you can go, go watch Eyes Wide Shut. Go watch Eyes Wide Shut. That's a documentary. And Kubrick was fucking yeah. killed before it even came out. Because they said, yeah. Dave, do it. He said, fuck you, I'm doing it. He did it. No, he, they released it, and he died. And those two movies, Hostel and Hostel 2, they weren't horror movies. They were documentaries. Absolutely. I have a suspicion where these people were hunted up in the Catskills, just south of Albany. There's a big, long corridor next to the non-existent abandoned farmhouse and the uh, the old zoo that was called the Catskill Game Farm that closed, I think, in 2009. And when vandals went in to figure out what the hell was going on and see if there's anything left in there. They found condoms being uh, sold no, no, at no. Catskill Game Farm. Now, I don't know what the hell you would do to sell condoms at a children's game farm. You put two and two together. Why would they be doing that? Well, you maybe just, somebody you all use your imaginations. Now, use your imagination. You, you, you guys use your imaginations. Don't, don't bout it, okay? Now, Dave, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go to the vault between your ears, and I want you to find me a joke. Find me one. Just find me one. I know it's in there. And while you're doing that, while you're spinning your wheels to find me a joke, I'm going to tell you another one. And I actually have it. I mean, I actually wrote them down, the ones I was going to tell. For your entertainment pleasure, man. Just so you know, man. All right, I'm going to tell you a joke you probably really like. Yeah. Uh, so, you know the three little pigs story? Yeah. Yeah, the three little pigs. 
So they're all gathered in this last little pig's brick house. And they're all shivering and shaking. And the big bad wolf comes to the door. And he says, listen, fuckers. Hey, Clementine. He says, listen, fuckers. I'm going to huff. I'll puff. I'll blow your freaking house in. And all of a sudden, this big black limo pulls up. Three pigs in pinstripe suits get out, beat the hell out of the wolf, bust his fucking skull, get back in the limo and take off. And one little pig turns to the other and says, well, well, what just went down? Who were they? And the other pig says, they were the guinea pigs. all right listen hey dave thank you so much for chilling with us i hope you had a good time why don't you wave to everybody say good night everybody everybody who had a good time light it up lightning bolts from the swedish squad number ones to appreciate his time with us to fill us in on some of his um the cranial fucking understanding of what's going down on this plane of existence always a good guy we'll see him again in another month or so because we're gonna have more to talk about but i think we're gonna make it more fun i think we'll make it more fun like we get you and i know what's his name sean a plymouth fury is pretty funny guy maybe we'll do a whole comedy thing uh the truth seekers out for laughs some lunatic show like that i really appreciate you man i'm going to talk to you in a minute anyway all right, my friend. Carry on your good fight. Say hello to everybody. Tell Sean I missed him. You know, he was talking I about will, being here. Yeah, tell, tell, we're tell, supposed to get together yeah, here. And tell your guy Joe. You check out this to check out the event we threw. You probably should have been in there. He would have had more to fill us in on. Yeah, it's on my BitChute channel, bitshoot.com forward slash net number four truth USA. Look for top secret army ranger. Yeah, There's right. several videos of it. I mean, he really lays it down with the uh, Right. Shot up. So Here, cats and kittens, here's your link right here, okay? And now you want to hear about this Army Ranger guy. He lays it down. I saw him. Oh, he looks like <laughs> a guy that if everything stopped today, he'd survive. No doubt yeah. about it. He'd be like, oh, it's fine. Yeah. He's, I'll, he's, I'll, I'll he was, he's very right sick, now. and he's got, a, he's got a 12-year-old that he wants me to to adopt and i says you know if something happens to you joe i says i have no problem with that you know i'm i'm good with that that's that's not a problem but uh you know, he, hopefully he's he's around for a long time yeah, because he's more, he's more guys like radar that. than you and i i can tell you that oh yeah he's he's definitely you know he's trouble he's trouble for the elite for the one percentile why did i get terminated 5,000 some odd subscribers, 280 plus people watching live. Because I got too far. They said, yeah, you know what? F you. See you later. You remember that, you remember that bullshit video that they banned in New Zealand because it, the guy was in there shooting at a mosque? No, I don't. It was, it was a bullshit video. It's on, it's on, uh, it, they, they made this video. It was a, it was an overlay of a first person shooter game overlaid over the top of a, of a mosque uh, a video that was taken like a tour of a mosque. And then they lay, overlaid this guy shooting a rifle over the top of that video. Well, that's nobody uh, nobody got shot. <laughs> that's just Podesta funny. was over there. John Podesta was over there a week before bribing people, saying that people whose relatives died, okay, bribing him, saying that he would pay for their funeral if they said, on on the news media that their loved one died in that mass shooting that never happened and then they banned the video they said we're going to give you ten thousand dollar fine and put you in jail if you if you if you even possess the video so they took over new zealand they took over all their guns and now they're doing the fucking zig heils over there Fuck that, that that's just not <laughs> over there. Fuck hey, that shit. do me a big favor my brother from another mother give everybody a wave goodbye i'll talk to you in a minute Hey, everybody, say good night to Dave. Thanks, my man. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Late, my good. brother. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do. Because I did. I, I mean, I, I, every time he's hung out with us, we have a good time. Yeah, it might get a little dark and deep and shit. But, um, hey, that's the way we roll here, you know? 
That's how I roll, man. That's how we roll. I'll check in with you guys. Rob, did you have a good time? Yeah, I always of course do, I had man. a good time. <laughs> hey, JD, Survivor Outdoors. Thumbs up. You have a good time? Good. Here we go. Have a good night, sir. Thank you very much. Ian Somnia. Guy still hasn't slept. Let the darkness grow. Oh, we're going to have a whole scene at the end of this because Rob's here. Chuck Sneed. They're also a kosher delicacy. <clears throat> yes, baby heads. I, I'm going to put it on my Amazon list. <laughs> <laughs> baby heads, baby heads, roly-poly baby heads. Oh, please stop. <laughs> Eat them up. Yum. You know the song. Mega.com. New AI dating for all tastes and ages. Yeah, you know what happens to you? Listen, you fucking troll. Get the fuck off my screen. What are you out of your... I dare you to come on right now. Oh, I, I will scar you psychologically for the rest of your fucking life. Report, remove, no. Add my... Put in you... Remove. Remove your stupid ass. I'm too old for porno, bitch. View deleted. No, how do I just get rid of this prick? You're a, you're a moderator, aren't you? Re report. Yeah. Yeah, I'll me, report this oh. bitch as well. Promote... Uh, suicide, promote child b pornography uh, and illicit shit. Report this motherfucker. Fuck you to hell. 69mega.com. Fuck you. Goddamn infiltrate my goddamn fucking party. How dare you, you freaking goddamn sexual deviant. Ah! Okay, I just reported him too. Yeah, don't do that shit. I've never had that before. Hey, what's your next what next movie are you gonna do, man? I'm waiting for your next film. Seriously, I am, man. I've been waiting for it for a while. I haven't seen anything from Director Grobman. Other than that last film. What was that called? Uh Pony Rainbow Meets Godzilla. Something like that. I don't know. Gino Solano. Remember. Yeah, I'll do this. As he wrote something, so I'll, I'll do it as Gino. Watch. Remember. <laughs> I'll do Gino. Remember, God has his good army. So do Satan. So love your country. Do right. Put God first because he sees the hearts. So stay cool in the pool and keep chilling us out. Gotta study us. Now, David, I tell you right now. Ciao. <laughs> JD Survivors Outdoor, David, Dave, Dave, don't go, don't go. I want to say goodnight to everybody. Oh, look at that. This is going to be like perfect time. I'm going to close with this. Oh, dude, I got a song to sing. I got a song to sing. Oh, he says, speak up, Dave. Uh, I don't know. You guys got to keep me posted. All right, I got a song for you guys. I had this is gonna be a musical evening, and it's gonna be, if I have it. <laughs> I don't know if I do. I thought I did. Um, hold on, it's good. It's just it's the beginning of the show, and the end of the show. We're gonna talk about all the frog pronouns on Tuesday. You don't want to miss that. You really you don't. You don't want to miss Jennifer Lawrence. You don't want to miss that. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to miss 100% dope opera. You don't want to miss any of this. I got a genius chink for you. <laughs> I have something that says just just too outrageous for me to cope with. So I really don't know what that's going to be. Oh, I'm going to sing something for you, man. I guess I'm not. I had another one right up that alley, you know. Right up the Pink Floyd alley, man. Who is this guy? I don't know. We'll find out Tuesday. And to a big surprise on Tuesday, guys. Seriously, man. I ain't fucking with you. Serious. Big surprise on Tuesday night. Don't know what this is. I, I certainly don't. Don't know. Simply dumb. I'm, I'm going to search, dude. No matter what. All right. So what I have to do is I have to, I have to come over here. Wrong folder, obviously. I have to go to, no, wrong one. All right, maybe I'll find it here. I'm going to do it, guys. I don't, I don't care how long you have to wait. 
I'm gonna do it. No, no, mm -mm. no, no. <laughs> Should I try this one? It's a complete. Hey, it's your show, man. Right here. Oh, if you. Oh, can you see my screen? Um. No, I cannot. What do you mean? I shared it, didn't I? No. All right, I'll do the complete opposite. Unless I find it. I can't find it. I'm going to do the complete And this is a tough song. This is really tough. I try to pull it off. Just chill out, everybody. Let me see how I can pull this off. Oh, this is Advantage. Tough. All right, hold on a second. Yeah, I, I don't know. But this is like the opposite. So this is hope. Okay. And pray to your God, whoever your God is. Pray to your God. And this would be a bit of hope, faith, and charity towards all. I could really F this up, guys. So wish me luck. But it'd be a nice close to the event. And then me and me and freaking Rob will spin your wheel. With the closing commercials. The whole closing commercial thing I do, man. It's going to be a scene. And Tuesday night, you might meet Jimmy. Who's Jimmy? I don't know. Might have met him already. I don't know. All right, let me close this out. You ready, Rob? I'm ready. Wish me luck.
tough song to do. Yeah, I toss some bacons and beans, man. Tough as it gets, rotten, frozen. I don't know. Did you like? Was it okay, Rob? Was it crazy? Yeah. Was it, it was all right, right? So there well, we go. You, know, you pulled it off. From, from the dark and the dim to the light and the hope and the prayers to all of you. I love you all very, very freaking much. Thank you, Gino, for hanging. Thank you, ins any insomnia. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Rattlehead. I got stories about you. I'm going to show pictures of you. You got to Facebook me to tell me if it's okay to show pictures. Because I know why your, your, your wife got married to you. I know why you married her, and I'm going to point it out to her. I'm going to dox you, man. I know why you married that chick. I would probably do the same thing. Uh, yeah. Just watch out for King Charles. <laughs> Let's do this. Hey, God, you got to feel you. Where the hell you been? You missed a scene, man. Dave was in the house. Rob was in the house. Hey, y'all. I'll, I'll see you all Tuesday night. See you Tuesday. Okay? Be there or be square. Big, big stuff coming up Tuesday. <laughs> I'll see y'all in a minute. Fuck off. Yeah, I said it. I said it to you. <laughs> oh! Wow! <laughs> Is he? I, I can't tell you. Go back. I copy his real life. Where are you? Let's figure it out. I too. <laughs> 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 I swear it will be. I swear it will. I swear it will be done. I take no pleasure in taking oh. life. Sleep. Let the darkness grow. Bodie, Bodie. Yeah, do Mandor. Hold on. Hold on. I'll do me. Good night, everybody. Now do a Mandor. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Let the darkness grow. Oh, see you Tuesday. Rock on. Rock on.